wanted to build on the previous papers from Brown Jacobson that considered the realities of devolution from central to local government and focus from a risk management and insurance perspective to consider how the risk from devolution of powers can be minimised and who should properly be involved in the process. Although the move towards devolution is politically driven, it's now seen as inevitable and the shifting of political and fiscal responsibility brings with it real challenge and risk but also genuine opportunity for those authorities who are forward thinking and have the processes in place to deal with that challenge. The change in local government is new territory for everyone involved and so there's no blueprints to fall back on. So there was enthusiasm and apprehension in equal measure and anticipation at the opportunities devolution brings with it, balanced with pressure from what's seen as a requirement to get it right first time. Although it was considered by the panel that there was little room for error, there was also an acceptance that there will be mistakes made along the way and the key was seen to be to manage the process as effectively as possible, reduce the risk through effective collaborative working, pooling experience and expertise and ensuring the right people are making the right decisions. Something that's a genuine challenge for local authorities at the moment as experienced employees are being lost through redundancy. So there's now an even greater need for sharing of good practice and experience to ensure innovation, growth and success. An opportunity for local authorities to find strength in numbers. And that's through engagement within authorities, with neighbouring authorities and also third party providers who will become a, ever more prominent as budgets continue to be cut and authorities rely on others to provide public sector services. An ability to collaborate effectively is seen as absolutely key to minimising financial and reputational risk. As well as collaborative working with other authorities and service providers, it was also felt there was a real need for greater engagement and support from central government. This momentous shift for the local authorities requires proper interaction and guidance by central government. And that's something that those that attended the round table didn't consider they were receiving at present. As part of that process, it was felt there needed to be an appreciation that it wasn't one size fits all. Rural authorities will have very different needs from city authorities, and that needs to be considered both at local level and also by central government when advising. Those on the front line of risk management must have a seat at the top table when the impact of devolution is considered within authorities, and for there to be a clear division of responsibility and accountability to come from those deliberations. As combined authorities are formed, and there is a potential blurring of responsibilities, again those in risk management must have a voice in shaping the future and their involvement is key. Local authorities will want a viable product before procuring insurance and that product might not currently be available, particularly with the continued move towards the creation of combined authorities. We could see the transformation of insurance arrangements for local authorities and the possibility of delivering much needed savings, but it will need a real appetite for change and for an insurer, possibly alongside a combined authority, to seize the opportunity in developing a product to fit the new world of local authority.